Hey guys, as you can see right here, I already have the, the fuselage already cut. I was actually cutting right now all these pieces that are going to be the one that are going to give me the body of the airplane. As you see right here, this from this point to this point are basically going to be the same size almost. So it's going to be easy. These are going to be the bottom pieces. It's basically a, a circle. As you see right here, these two pieces go together or a, a, any, either of these ones. I mean, they, they, there is a piece that I cut out of here already. Uh, let me see if I can find one of the ones already cut. Uh, I don't see any in here. But it's basically, let's say that it was something like this, you know. Uh, basically what I did, after I have the circle marked and cut, just mark a line on the middle. And then from that line, just you figure out how thick your thumb is. This one is a uh, half inch thick, I mean one fourth of an inch thick. So what I did, I gave one eighth to each side of the line and cut that part off the middle. And that way, whenever you put it here, this one on the top and the other one on the bottom, you are still gonna have your nice circle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing this in place and keep watching the pictures. So as you see it's starting to take shape very nice now uh, what I'm gonna be doing at this moment is gonna be molding these pieces that are gonna be covering the, the whole fuselage so that this, this is very easy to do with your piece of wood uh, you know just grab your square piece and start rolling this thing all over it like that with the, with the plastic on the inside and the you know the, the clean part on the outside and the plastic on the inside we're gonna leave the plastic cone on this one because this, oh, no, none of this is gonna be sent. So I like to leave the plastic to, to keep it strong. And we're just gonna be gluing this, you know, on place like here. See, it's gonna be very nice. The silver right there after we glue it. So now let's just keep working on it. Hey my friends, as you see right here, it's starting to take more shape now. Uh, here is where my firewall for my EDF is going to be. Okay guys, the Learjet 55 is going to be 58 inches long, so it's going to be a very nice size. And I'm also um, thinking on using retractable landing gears on it too. So I have a very nice scale look on the air too. Okay my friends, as you see on my last video, uh, one of my last video, I mean, because my last video was the, the Push Pro A10. Uh, okay, the supersonic jet is still too small for this airplane. So I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna be doing what one of my friends put over there on the comment bar to use two micro jet engines on it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing probably. So, but for now I'm gonna get a supersonic out of there. I'm also going to get this electronics of this MiG-29 that I crashed already. You can see the video of the crash on my channel. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass them all into that MiG-29 that I built a couple of years ago. So. The supersonic and the electronics from the MiG-29 into this new one. Uh, okay, my friends, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet, so you can get the upcoming videos of the building of this Learjet 55, and also so you can get the upcoming video of the fly of that MiG-29 <laughs> and my new airplanes. Okay, my friends, subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is that one, that yellow button right there. Okay, click on it and see you next fly.